hey guys what's up and welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial we have an iphone 6 that is currently uh, on passcode so i don't know the passcode to enter into the device so in this tutorial we'll be bypassing the passcode and then we will get signal facetime i message notifications everything is going to work in this tutorial and in this tutorial unlike the previous program disk we do not need uh, to jailbreak our device with check in we can use a ram disk method to bypass the device so this is currently the check a uh, broke ram disk version 2.6.0 which currently has all the ram disk files as up to ios 17 so from ios 10 up to ios 17 so all the errors that you were getting in the previous broke ram disk tools is not going to happen again so this this broke ram disk version has all the has all the RAM disk files that you need to bypass your device. So we will quickly connect we, we connect your device into recovery or DFU mode. So first of all, make sure that you connect your device into recovery mode in order for us to check the iOS version. It is very, very important step. And uh, or probably the most important step is to actually fix your drivers before proceeding. So I'll connect my device into recovery mode and then once it is connected in recovery mode i'll click on detect ios version this is important because we need to know the ios version our device is on in order to download the correct boot file for our device so i'll click on ok since i know my ios version or my device is on ios 12 i'll click on ok then go to options then select passcode bypass if your device is on hello screen and you want to bypass the hello screen you can choose the hello screen bypass jailbreak or you can use the hello screen uh, that is the ram disk method alternatively you can use the check screen method to bypass the iphone 6 or you can use the ram disk method in this tutorial we'll be using the ram disk method you also check the ram disk passcode bypass ram disk click on back and then click on start you know we are going to be asked to register our ecid which is actually free to register just click on the ecid here and then click on register here this should take you to the website to register you see program this is free if anyone asks you to pay any money in order to use the tool the person is probably a scammer so don't pay any money to anyone to use the tool if you want to pay and support us just you can go to options you can go to options and then click here to donate you can donate and support us so i've successfully registered my device i'll just disconnect and connect again so i'll just connect and then you can see that my device is registered now i can proceed and click on start so uh, once i click on start i'll just follow the instructions here to put my device into dfu so we'll just click on start and then follow the instructions you should put your device into dfu okay so my device is currently in dfu but program this is it's not in dfu so just click on cancel and then connect connect and then click on start again it should skip the the dfu helper so this is a this is the new um, interface for booting your device into D, uh, into uh, ssh mode so you click on select version here and then select your ios version remember that our device was on ios 12 so i select ios 12 then go back here you can see that the our uh, i device type is this you note this one down 7.2 iphone 7.2 so click on start again and then click on download here click on here to download boot file so i'll go to my lip and then boot you see in this version there is no iv15 or iv16 folder or purple folder you cannot place all of them in the boot folder here so you can you can go inside the ios version corresponding to your device in my case it was ios 12 so i'll go here and then download it so if your device was on ios uh, 15 or 16 or 13 you will go into the corresponding folders download them and then place them in the boot folder you can see that i have placed my i have mine here i have mine downloaded already so i'll just proceed so select 
and then click on boot i device this step can take um, some time depending on your device if your device is slow it's probably going to take a long time to actually um, boot the device if your device is fast you're going to it's going to be fast for you less than second less than a minute so let's wait for it to boot our device so this step is actually putting the device into pon dfu mode if pon dfu fails then you can do it manually you can use other tools like wind rain or any other gasta or checkmate to put your device into pon dfu and then program this will actually skip this step okay so the pon dfu is actually done it is done so now it is going to boot our device into ssh mode please note that if your device fails and then it cannot boot or your device reboots or the device does not pwn dfu then you can use other software it's not the fault of blue cram it's, it's actually gasta that is failing so note that please okay so once the cleanups are done it's going to do on press the boot file and then boot our device into ssh mode just relax don't do anything just wait until you get an error or a success message if you get an error then you you, you can contact me on whatsapp or telegram and i'll help you solve the problem so now it is booting the device okay so if you see random colors on your device if he doesn't see that it's fine it depends on the device you're trying to boot into a ssh mode okay so now after the booting when it says check in i device in ssh mode you should see a, um, you should see a variables boot on your device and then a logo probably on your device so just click on next and then this option allows you to save account so maybe you want to know the device details or the iCloud details on the device you can do that and then you can you can just check this option and it will back the iCloud details so I'll click on backup iDevice if it fails on mounting file system make sure that you know your iOS version or make sure that you're using the correct boot files the correct mm -hmm. iOS version now uh, our device is done the backup is actually done you can go inside and check everything uh, everything is okay you can go into the fair play folder then you go into the iTunes control iTunes and make sure that the most important file that is the IC dash info.s ISV is available if it is not available program this will help you generate it so you don't have to worry about that so I'll click on OK then since I know that I have the correct activation files I'll just erase my device and then click on yes wait till it, yes our device has been erased so unlike the other program this version you will need to close the tool and open again this has been fixed so you can click on done and it will bring you back to the home page and then you can go to options click on passcode and then continue so i'll just pause the video here and then when my device reboots to the home screen we will continue the tutorial okay so my device has currently connected but it is still erasing it means we are on the on the home sorry on the hello screen you can see that our device is currently not activated it's not activated so let it boot onto the home screen then we will continue we will continue the bypass okay good so my device is currently now on the home screen make sure that the passcode the same options that we used is is, is ticked then click on ok get all back then click on start here So make sure that you click on next it will put your device into recovery mode for you okay so this is the dfu helper i'll click on start and then follow the on-screen instructions to put my device into dfu if it doesn't go into dfu then you redo it again program this will detect it okay so my device is now in dfu here as we did earlier you select the version 12 our device is on ios 12 then click on boot i device 
so I'll forward this step since we've done it already. So the pond DFU is done. Let's wait for the device to boot into SSH mode. Okay, so the booting has started. If your device fails um, to boot or if you get driver issues, it means that maybe um, you will not disable driver signature. So if you've not disabled driver signature, make sure that you uh, correct the driver uh, manually so that you'll be able to boot the device into SSH mode. Okay, so now the device has booted Verbo's boot and then there is now a logo. Then good, we have um, SSH connection. So we can click on next. And then you can see that the activate uh, the button, the backup button turns to activate. Yeah, so it means that we have a backup file or we have an activation file saved. So you can either activate or click on set, 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 uh, skip set setup, which will actually skip the setup screen after the bypass or after the activation. So I'll leave it just like that and click on activate. Program this is actually fast, very very fast. It will bypass the device within seconds. So you can see that the whole process literally took less than 15 minutes to bypass the whole device. It took less than 15 minutes. So now I'm done activating the device. The device just reboot, close it, and then we wait for the device to reconnect. So make sure that you, if you've not subscribed to this channel, you have because it helps us uh, make more content and then bring more um, tools so that you'll be able to use to your satisfaction without paying anything and make sure that if you love this tool make sure that you so you donate you can see that the the device is actually activated right now I will go to the toolbox and then use real time screen real time screen to so we can see our screen here good so our device is activated with sim working you can put sim and everything it is on threaded meaning you can reboot your device and everything is going to work so that is it guys that is how you bypass a uh, passcode screen with broken disk new version so make sure that you like this video you subscribe and then leave a random comment and if you have any problem just email me or message me on whatsapp or telegram and i'll do my best to help you solve the problem until we meet again bye bye